Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here in front of the U.S. State Department today on January 19th to commemorate East Turkestan Genocide Recognition and Remembrance Day. Firstly, we'll start off with the playing of the uh, from with the East Turkestan National Anthem, and we will deliver a speech followed by chants calling on the U.S. government to take more meaningful actions to help us end China's ongoing genocide in East Turkestan. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today marks the third anniversary of a pivotal moment in the plight of East Turkestan and its people. On January 19th, 2021, the United States State Department, under the direction of U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, took a courageous step by formally recognizing the suffering of Uyghurs, Kazakhs, Kyrgyz, and other Turkic peoples in occupied East Turkestan as what it truly is, genocide and crimes against humanity. This was not merely a diplomatic statement or recognition. It was a beacon of hope for millions who have longed for justice and recognition of their plight. The evidence of China's genocide in East Turkestan is not just compelling, it is overwhelming. Reports from human rights organizations, survivor testimonies, and leaked documents from the Chinese government itself have all painted a harrowing picture. The evidence is not just data. It is the voice of the voiceless, the cries of the millions of oppressed, and the silent tears of a nation being systematically erased. The acts committed in East Turkestan are the very definition of genocide. The systematic massacres and killings through torture, summary execution, organ harvesting, forced medication, the mass internment and enslavement of millions of people in concentration camps, prisons, and forced labor camps, the forced sterilizations, the forced abortions of mil millions of innocent East Turkestani babies, the forced separation of nearly a million Uyghur children, and the brutal suppression of any form of dissent. These acts, these are acts that shock the conscience of humanity. The United Nations in its definition of genocide could not have envisioned a more clear example than what is happening in occupied East Turkestan today. The recognition by the United States was a watershed moment. It led to other countries and legislative bodies like those in the Czech Republic, Lithuania, the Netherlands and the UK recognizing this genocide. However, despite these recognitions, the international response has been insufficient. The United Nations, despite acknowledging the crimes against humanity in East Turkestan, has yet to take concrete actions.
the responsibility to protect principle endorsed by the United Nations obliges member states to protect populations from genocide, war crimes, ethnic cleansing, and crimes against humanity. This principle is being tested today in East Turkestan. We appreciate the steps taken by the United States government and other nations, but these are merely the first steps on a long journey. Today we call upon the international community, especially the United States, to take a stand not just in words and condemnations, but in actions. We ask the U.S. to recognize the core issue, the illegal occupation of East Turkestan by China, by formally recognizing East Turkestan as an occupied country like Tibet. Chinese occupation is the root of the genocide and crimes against humanity that we continue to witness in occupied East Turkestan at this very moment in 2024. We demand the establishment of a special coordinator for East Turkestani affairs within the U.S. State Department. This position would be instrumental in not only bringing attention to our plight, but also in coordinating a whole of government and global response. Furthermore, we demand the U.S. to show that its vows of never again are genuine by supporting East Turkestan case at the International Criminal Court and referring China's genocide in East Turkestan to the International Court of Justice. We call for the further implementation of comprehensive sanctions against all Chinese officials and entities responsible for the ongoing genocide and crimes against humanity taking place in occupied East Turkestan. As we commemorate this day, let us remember that our actions, or lack thereof, will define our commitment to human rights, justice, and self-determination. The East Turkestan government in exile designated January 19th as East Turkestan Genocide Recognition and Remembrance Day to not only mourn the victims, but also to ignite a global movement for justice. Supporting East Turkestan's case in international courts, recognizing their right to external self-determination of its people, supporting the restoration of East Turkestan's independence, and applying diplomatic and economic pressure on China are steps that must be taken to end this ongoing genocide and crimes against humanity. Our fight is not only for East Turkestan, but for the very principles of human dignity, freedom, democracy, and self-determination, and international law. Today, as we stand at the crossroads of history, the international community faces a moral imperative. Will we act decisively in the face of genocide, or will we let never again become empty words? The people of East Turkestan look to the world for action, for support, and for justice. The time for action is now, not just to remember the past and the present, but to shape a future where such atrocities are unthinkable and will never again be committed. A future where the people of East Turkestan can live independently in peace, dignity, and freedom. Let us rise to this challenge and ensure that our collective actions today lead to a brighter, tomorrow for East Turkestan and for all who cherish human rights, justice, freedom, and self-determination. Thank you. Now we will face the State Department in doing some chants and calling them to take more further action.
Uh, we're going to end our demonstration today. Watching, going outside. Uh, but we still like to remind everyone that at this very moment, millions of people in East Turkestan continue to suffer in the cold prisons and concentration camps and forced labor camps where they are being tortured, killed, and enslaved. It is the moral duty of every human being to, at the very least, condemn China's ongoing genocide in East Turkestan and to take any meaningful action that they can, whether it's through social media, spreading more awareness, or whether it's by writing and urging, calling your elected representatives, your governments, your leaders, to not only recognize the ongoing genocide in East Turkestan, but also to recognize the roots of the ongoing genocide, Chinese occupation, and to take more swift action, meaningful action, to truly end this genocide by recognizing East Turkestan as an occupied country. And by supporting the East Turkestanis people's right to external self-determination and their struggle to restore their independence, their freedom, their human dignity, and their existence. Thank you.